there, money doesn't exist. It's only up here. So many people want to get rich, but they have horrible teachers. And then they work for fake money. The US dollar is fake. They print, they print trillions of it every month or day. And then you buy these fake assets. I don't touch that stuff. I used to say PhD stood for poor, helpless, and desperate. Teach us nothing about money. So when I was nine years old, I just raised my hand and I asked my teacher, because I went to a rich, a rich kid's school. I was a poor kid, I went to a rich kid's school. And I wanted to know how come they were rich and I was poor. And the teacher said, well, if you stay in school, you'll be rich. I said, don't BS me. I mean, you know, my father's a PhD and he's broke. And she'd go, no, 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 you stay in school. I said, no, don't lie to me. So I kept raising my hand and she finally said, she finally blurted it out, you know, she was like church lady on Saturday Night Live or something. She goes, the love of money is the root of all evil. And they said, maybe evil to you, but I'd like to have some, you know. So it's a lot of that attitude. And um, so I went home to see the old man, poor dad. He's a good man, you know, six foot four for Japanese, is fairly tall. Uh, good father, great husband, but he knew nothing about money. And so I kept asking him, I said, when are you going to teach me about money? When's the school going to teach us about money? Then he blurted it out too. He says, I can only teach what the government lets me teach. And money is not one of those subjects. And that was kind of like my first wake up that education was uh, brainwashing, I can say. So I never did well in school. I'm mean, going to have a college degree. I went to a very good school, did all the stuff, but I didn't learn anything about money. And um, I just started studying with my rich dad when I was nine. And he taught his, his son and me, my, my best friend, about money playing Monopoly. So today I own 7,000 rental properties, five hotels, oil wells. All I do is play Monopoly. So it's not that hard to be rich, but you have to have good teachers. And as you and I know, there's a lot of fake teachers out there. So that's why I wrote the book, Fake, is because our school system's fake. We have fake money, the Fed prints as much as they want. And we have fake assets, you know, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs. I don't touch that stuff. Rich don't work for money, right? The reason is money is toxic. After 1971, people who work for money are getting poor because the way your wealth is sucked out of you by the Fed, by the US Treasury, and by our government and our school system is the people that work for money get poor. The people that save money get poor. And the people that invest in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and ETFs, they're temporarily rich. But in a flash, they can lose it all because they, they, they don't have an education. So that's why I can ask the demographics. Uh, I generally speak to different groups, but primarily my groups are very well educated entrepreneurs. In 1972, I was flying, I was flying off of Vietnam and Nixon took the gold dollar off the gold standard so my co-pilot and I decided we go look for gold. We didn't know what gold was. Americans had never seen gold. So we flew behind enemy lines which proves Marines aren't that bright <laughs> and we went looking went to a gold mine to buy gold and this little Vietnamese woman you know I don't think she went to Harvard or anything but she wouldn't she wouldn't discount the gold. So let's say gold was 50 bucks that day it was 35 a few months earlier. So it was going to 50. And so I said, I'll give you 40. She says, get out of here, you know. And I, went, I realized something. She was teaching me. She was one of the best teachers I ever had because she was teaching me about money. And the same lessons my rich dad was trying to teach me, that money is fake. Gold is real. So anyway, I didn't, I, you know, I almost got, we almost got captured that day. Anyway, we, I, we sailed, a carrier then sailed to Hong Kong and I bought my first piece of gold. And this was 1973, no, 72, 72. And I paid about 50 bucks for it. And today that Krugerrand, the South African Krugerrand, is worth 1,500 bucks or 1,450 today. So did the Krugerrand get bigger or did the dollar go down? Do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So ever since that day, I just saved gold and silver. And I call gold and silver God's money and the US dollar fake money or fiat currency. Now there's cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, 
and that's going to cause, and I'm not an expert at Bitcoin, because I don't have to be, because I don't need money, but it's going to cause havoc because it's going to give the, the Fed a lot of trouble because a lot of people are shifting to crypto right now. So everybody can make crypto. I don't know what the big deal about it is. You know, you can just produce your own.